Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 5 to Week 6, Milk Base. Let's learn about Light, Heat, and Sound. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about light, heat, and sound. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe how light, heat, and sound travel. In the previous lesson, you have learned about the force exerted by magnets. Magnets exert a force of attraction on anything that is made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. However, not all materials are attracted to magnets. Objects that are made of plastic paper and wood are not attracted to magnet. You also learn about magnetic force and different types of magnets. Magnets have two opposite poles. These are the North Pole and the South Pole. When two magnets of the same poles are placed close to each other, they repel or push each other. When two magnets of different poles are placed close to each other, they attract or pull each other. This time, you will learn about light, heat, and sound. Light travels faster than sound. As you observe during stormy weather, you see a flash of light in the sky accompanied by a thunder. Lightning is an electrical discharge caused by imbalances between storm clouds and the ground, or with the clouds themselves. Light, heat, and sound travel in different ways. Many scientists have been studying the nature of light. Some say that light behaves like a wave. Other scientists say that light behaves like a group of particles. Light always travels in a straight line when going through a single medium, any substance through which a light wave can travel. On the other hand, sound waves travel at different speeds through different media. As it travels, a sound wave is created in response to a vibration and how easily they move back to their original position. Heat travels by conduction, convection, and radiation. The transfer of heat through solid materials is called conduction. Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to another by movement in fluids. Heat can also be transmitted across empty space or vacuum. This is called radiation. Radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. Radiant energy travels as waves through space. And now, let us proceed to our experiment time. Prepare the materials listed below. You may ask the help of your parent or any adult members of the family if needed. Here are the materials to be used. Tape box, cardboard, and flashlight. Procedure First, get a flashlight and focus it at a distant wall. Observe the path of light. Second, block the path coming from the flashlight with a thick cardboard. Record your observation. Third, get the three cardboards with holes of the same size. Tape it inside the box with at least 2 inches away from each other. Align the holes in such a way that the wall could be seen through the holes. Fourth, 
Aim the flashlight light through the first hole. Observe what happens. And fifth, misalign the cardboard in the middle. Keep the light aim at the cardboards. Observe what happens. And now, answer the following guide questions. First question, did the light form a straight line when you focus it on the wall or ceiling without blockage? What is your answer? Yes, the light form a straight light when focus it on the wall or ceiling without blockage. Second question, when you block the light with a thick cardboard, was it able to pass through it? Explain your answer. No, the light couldn't pass through the thick cardboard because it was blocked by the board. Third question, when you align the cardboards with holes, was the light able to pass through it? Explain your answer. Yes, the light was able to pass through the aligned cardboard with holes because the holes are aligned. Fourth question, when one of the cardboard was not aligned with the other cardboards, was the light able to pass through the cardboards? Why is this so? No, the light could not able to pass through the other cardboard with holes because the board is blocking the path of light and the holes are not aligned also. And for the fifth question, what can you say about the way light travels? The light always travels in a straight line. Light travels faster than the sound. And now, for this activity, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Number 1. Light travels in a blank line when it passes through a single medium. A. Curve B. Straight C. Crook D. Dotted What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Straight. Number 2. When the sound travels through solids, the vibration of the particles occurs blank. A. Fast B. Slowly C. Moderately D. Irregularly What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Fast Number 3. What affects the speed of sound as it travels? A. Person receiving it B. The origin of the sound C. The nature of material D. Loudness of the sound What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter C. The nature of material Number 4. How is heat transferred in solid materials? A. True convection B. True conduction C. True radiation D. True vacuum What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is B. True conduction And number 5, what is the direction of heat transfer? A. From hot to cold B. From cold to hot C. From bottom to top D. From side to side What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A. From hot to cold Remember, Light always travels in a straight line when going through a single medium any substance through which a light wave can travel On the other hand, sound waves travel at different speeds through different media. As it travels, a sound wave is created in response to a vibration and how easily they move back to their original position. Heat travels by conduction, convection, and radiation. So kids, do you understand our topic today? Wow! Good job! 
kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!